What's going on everyone? We are getting out of the office today and we're gonna uh, look at a new toy. So here's what you can expect when you get this pressure washer. This body will be separated from this black piece here and there's another black piece down here and a black piece back here and right here. The water hose gets connected down here if you're curious. And then back here, this cable attaches here and attaches to the bottom of the pressure washer. It actually comes with soap container, so if you want to use, how we remove this? If you want to use this, this nozzle you would put on the front of the gun. Let's just do it now. I actually haven't done this yet. This tip should be quick release, so I believe if you just snap it. Yep, so now you have this attached. I'm not gonna use these bottles though. I have my own foam cannon over there. See, so pull this, this came off really easily. The thing to note about these, uh, I read on reviews, is that every time you use this product, you wanna take these off and let them dry. In fact, I'm gonna go as far as taking off a lot of the pieces and letting them dry because I hear if you leave them attached, the water will cause these things to rust up and you end up having problems. So you'll see that each one of these attachments have some kind of degree in it. Zero degrees and it's also red. This thing, let's talk about the degrees for a moment. So you saw how this one, this one has a straight line. Whereas this 40 degree one has a triangle. What that really is showing you is, is the angle in which it is going to flare the water out. So this is red. Also because what's gonna happen is, this is a high pressure washer, when you squeeze the gun, it is going to shoot a straight line, which means it's going to be very, very powerful. So you would wanna basically use like a 40 degree angle. So when you see that triangle, that means the water is gonna come out this way. I'm gonna use this for my car. Honestly, this 40 degree one I'm gonna use most of the time. I'm gonna use a 40 degree for my car. Maybe this green one, which is a 30 degree, I'll use this for the driveway and the balcony. It's very unlikely I will be using the 15 or the zero. Please, if you have kids, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they are not in the area you are using this device because someone can get hurt. So I got this on Amazon. I haven't used it yet. I saw some really good reviews on it. I think it was like 15 bucks. This is what you get out of the box, just in case you're buying one of these and you're like, okay, what else do I need? This comes with a tube, okay? It comes with the bottle, obviously, all right? And it does come with this. So that this box comes with it. So what's gonna happen is you're going to basically put the bottle in here. And then on this end, you are going to use the quick connector that I was talking about earlier. Just put it in. So now you have it looking a lot like this.
this is interesting. This is what the shoot's like when there is no tip. The car is completely washed. I took it for a spin earlier in the sunlight. It was hard to see a lot of how, how much dirt there was and how clean it ended up being because there wasn't enough sun at the time. But when I took it out for a spin, it really showcased how clean the car was. I left it parked outside and I was really just really happy with the results. Even sitting inside the car, looking outside the windshield, there weren't any spots. And I know this sounds silly, but usually when I wash the car, I do see some spots there. It's almost like the soap solution was also a big part of it. So using this, the foam cannon plus the pressure washer uh, is a powerful trio. I know the pressure washer is not one of those thousand dollar products all the car detailers talk about on YouTube. I get that, but also I'm not a car detailer. So I, I think that uh, at $200, it's, it's a win. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I do plan on uh, doing a few more videos with this one, potentially cleaning the balcony and or the, uh, the driveway where there's like a lot of debris. All right, thanks team, bye.